The Dragon Ball Xenoverse3.com website domain was found three years ago, I believe, at this point in time by the homie Burkle. And ever since, YouTubers like myself, Burkle, and Slow have monitored this website fairly closely for multiple different reasons. One, to see when things get updated on the website, like you can see right here, 12-5-2022. But really, the main reason that we've stood, uh, kept a close eye on this website domain is for the expiration. Because if it was to ever expire, then we know that there was some kind of plan that was scrapped in regards to xenoverse3.com but thankfully that has not happened yet at this moment in time since we have began monitoring it every year in december the expiration does get updated to next year as you guys can see right now it is on 12 9 2023 but in today's video i want to talk about something a little bit different in regards to the website and that is whether this website can be fake or not whether it can be have been made by a troll or not because that is the number one issue i see that people have with this website domain is that they don't know if it was actually made by bandai and dimps or if it was just made by some joe schmo nobody that was trying to troll the whole entire community and honestly i've mentioned this in the past before in videos where i've talked about the actual domain but never made a video on it completely just by itself where that is the main focus so in today's video we are going to show why this website was not fan made, it is not fake, and there's no way that a troll could have done this to try and, well, troll the community four or five years later or even six years later down the line. Now, the first things we're going to look at, guys, is just really how similar these websites are because, as you see, I have Xenoverse 2 and Xenoverse 1's website domain up as well, right? So let's look at the registrant company or country as the very first thing. It is France for Xenoverse, Xenoverse 2, and Xenoverse 3. The registrar is exactly the same as well. Gandhi SAS, Gandhi SAS, Gandhi SAS, right? The IANA ID is 81. Same for all three of them. The URL who is server, all things like that. The exact same for all three of these websites. Now, the name servers, they may not be exactly the same, but they are similar. And if you look at the total number of domains, it is exactly the same as well. So, and all those things are exactly the same, right? Then you go on to the IP location. It is in Paris. For Xenoverse 2, it is in Paris. For Xenoverse 1, it is in Paris. The ASN, again, in Paris. All these things are the same. Even the ID of the ASN, AS291169. Uh, exactly the same on all three of these so there's a lot of similarities between the three website domains just off of that stuff alone right but then let's really take a look at the major thing that proves that this was not fan made what what doesn't necessarily 100 percent prove it i would say but pretty much puts away the theory that this could have been made by a fan like it is 99.9% .9 likely that Bandai and Dimps made this after you see what I'm going to talk about right here which is when these website domains were actually created first let's just look at Xenoverse 3 and Xenoverse 2 both created on 12-9-2014 12-9-2014 this is Xenoverse2.com and again back to Xenoverse 3 12-9-2014 so basically these website domains were made before Xenoverse 1 even released. That's fairly interesting, considering if this was made by a troll, how in the hell would a troll even know about Xenoverse 3 if Xenoverse 1 has not even released? Because again, Xenoverse 1 did not come out, I believe, until like midway through the year of 2015. Well, 12-9-2014 is definitely before that. So it would be crazy for a troll to know about this when, again, Xenoverse 1 had not even come out. But it would be even crazier for a troll to know when Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2.com was made. Because Xenoverse 2.com was made on the exact same date as Xenoverse 3.com. Huh, that's fairly interesting because from a normal person's mindset, I feel they would automatically think, well, damn, maybe Bandai and Dimps had a plan for a three-game project when it comes to Xenoverse in general from the very beginning. Because how else would a website domain for Xenoverse 2 and 3 be created on the exact 
same day. Regardless of all the other stuff that I talked about with the registrar country, the IP address, location, all things like that, right? Take all that stuff out of the equation and you just look at this. This alone is enough information for one to be like, yeah, this definitely is not fake. This definitely was not made by a troll. And there is only the slightest of slight chances that that is even possible because again, how is he going to know about a Xenoverse 3 before Xenoverse 1 even launches? Whoever this troll may be. And then how is he going to know the exact day that they made a Xenoverse 2 website domain and make a Xenoverse 3 one on that exact day and have it expire on the exact day as well? Because the expiration has always been the same for these at the same time. They've never changed in terms of when the expiration actually is. So that is just right there alone is enough evidence to prove that this website domain is not fake. It was not made by trolls and the chance of that being real is literally like 0.01% or something along those lines because how? If, th if this was made by trolls, I would truly want to meet this man and ask him, how the hell did you know this? How did you know when Xenoverse 1 was, or how did you know about Xenoverse 2 and 3 before Xenoverse 1 was released? And then how did you know to make the Xenoverse 3 website domain the exact day that Xenoverse 2 was made? And we know for a fact Xenoverse 2 was made by Bandai because it says Bandai Namco Entertainment Europe on both that and Xenoverse 1. That is the only difference in these domains that there really is. The registrant org does not say Bandai Namco Entertainment Europe on Xenoverse3.com, but I'm assuming that that is to hide the fact that Xenoverse 3 would be, I guess, confirmed, quote unquote, because if this registrant org did say Bandai Namco Entertainment Europe, well, a lot of us would take that as pretty much confirmation that we will be getting this game at some point in time, especially since the website does continue to get updated and the expiration does get uh, continue to get updated as well. So again, it is very, very, very unlikely that this website is fake. And that this website was made by a troll to scam the Xenoverse community years down the line. Because regardless of them knowing all this stuff about potentially Xenoverse 2 and 3 before Xenoverse 1 even came out, if they somehow knew that, why would they troll a community and do something like this to troll a community that the community may never find? This is not something that was guaranteed for the community to find and figure out. It was just something that Burkle came across. So there's just so much that proves that there is a very, very small chance a troll or or some along those lines made this website to bait the whole entire Xenoverse community. So again, I just wanted to make this video to truly put an end to the talks about the potential of this website being fake because that is the number one thing I see in regards to any negative talk around any video that I make on the who is record for dragon ball xenoverse 3.com and it's just people who think that there is the chance that this could have been made by a scammer or a troll or something along those lines when again when you really look at these website domains it is damn near impossible for a troll to have known some of this information so again that was really the main purpose of this video guys it doesn't really further any information about the xenoverse 3 website domain that we hadn't already known or anything like that and some of you guys may have already heard this stuff in the past but again this was more for those who still believe that there is a chance or a potential that this website could have been made by a troll or it could be faked by some kind of scammer or something along those lines so with that being said we are going to end the video right here so as always man thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed until next time hope you guys have a good one hey y'all